Hello friends, let's discuss one PhD entrance exam first time. Myself, Dr. Karthikeyan Petuswami. The question is, which is not a post-translational modification? See the options, pause this video and think which could be the answer. Thanks to Wikipedia, now you can see the list of post-translational modifications here. Proteolysis is one of the post-translational modifications. Zymogens are activated to active enzymes by proteolysis. Prothrombin to thrombin, chymotrypsinogen to chymotrypsin, pepsinogen to pepsin. You can rule so, out pepsinogen to pepsin option. What about the other options? C. Hydroxylation of proline, hydroxylation of lysine. This modification is done by vitamin C, which is important for cross linking of collagen and tensile strength of collagen. So, we can rule out this option also and carboxylation of glutamate this is not just carboxylation this is gamma carboxylation glutamate becomes gamma carboxy glutamate that is also known as GLA GLA is an important component of vitamin K dependent clotting factors and protein C protein S protein Z osteocalcin also so gamma carboxylation does not require biotin this is very important gamma carboxylation requires only vitamin K in this table you can see diphthamide have you come across this diphthamide this is does this sound familiar diphthamide and diphtheria you might have studied that diphtheria to toxin acts by ADP ribosylation of elongation factor 2 it exactly causes ADP ribosylation in this amino acid that is diphthamide of elongation factor okay this is just an additional information so let's go back to the question so we can rule out lysine to hydroxylysine and glutamate to gamma carboxyglutamate what is left now it is glutamate to glutamine so that is the answer